We're here today uh, to launch the findings of a report, a study that we undertook called Living with Asthma and it, the results of that show very stark findings um, about the experiences that people with asthma have in Ireland and about how, how they live with the condition. This is the first time this sort of research has been carried out with adults who have got asthma in this country um, and why it's important is we know that the perspectives of people with asthma and other conditions like that have a very different perspective on what's important to them than a lot of the other medical research that's carried out. So that's why I think this is really important. We're getting to hear the voice of the people who have asthma, uh, their everyday lives, what are their challenges and what they think we can do to help them address them. Well, I suppose I found out when I had asthma, I had it from, uh, from birth, like pretty much as a child the whole way up and then it kind of developed on when my sporting career started. We at, at the age of about 15 when the kind of childhood asthma went away um, I started getting pains in my chest and went through a whole range of testing there, heart testing, lung testing and I suppose it was a very scary time uh, but after a couple of months we finally got the diagnosis that it was sports induced asthma so that's kind of what we've been dealing with now with the appropriate asthma management program in place and uh, it's all been working out pretty well. I mean I have asthma all my life so there were things that I couldn't do as a child because I wasn't allowed to do it. You can do them now, such as sport and things, but I wasn't left to them. I think I had an overprotective man, so I had. When we conducted the research, we weren't so interested in their signs and symptoms, just about what was their daily challenges. And every day is a challenge for them. They're doing the normal day-to-day -day things are challenging. Going for a walk, being able to get up, go to work, spending time with their children. All of these simple things that we take for granted were really challenging for them. Back when I was going through the main problems, I didn't really know about the Asthma Society of Ireland. I think uh, over la last year I came on board as one of the directors. So I, it, 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 I kind of wanted to give back and kind of use my story to, uh, I suppose, inspire and get the information across. So I, I think. It, this is what it's all about, it's about getting patients engaged and uh, I think back uh, a couple of years ago it might not have been as easy to do that but now in this age of social media and where we have a great team behind us kind of pushing forward the PR side of things, uh, it can only go up and up. I think everybody should know about the Asthma Society of Ireland, particularly people that have asthma. Um, they are brilliant and have such information and uh, all is at the end of a phone call for you. In terms of the sporting career, no, I, I think um, bar the initial stages of, of when I was getting severe symptoms with, with regards to my chest and uh, struggle breathing and everything, apart from that, as soon as it was dealt with and the proper plan was in place, then there was no issues whatsoever and it, it, you, just, you just do what you have to do and it, it just works out in the end. Uh, today's event um, is, is about highlighting the results of this study, but also to continue to a dialogue with people with asthma um, to understand what they're dealing with and also for us in the Asthma Society to be able to provide the services and the supports that they need um, to improve their lives and help them deal with asthma.